Hey learners, welcome back to my another video. Today we are going to understand what is recruitment and what are its processes. So let's start today's video. Recruitment The process of finding and hiring the best qualified candidate either from within the organization or outside an organization for a job opening is called recruitment. The recruitment process include analyzing the requirements of a job, attracting employees to that job, screening and selecting applicants who apply for the job, then hiring and integrating the new employee to the organization. Recruitment is a positive process of searching for prospective employees and stimulating them to apply for the jobs in the organization. When more persons apply for the jobs, then there will be a scope of recruiting better persons. Recruitment act as a bridge or linkage between those who have jobs to offer and those who are seeking jobs. In simple word we can say, the term recruitment refers to discovering the sources from where potential employers may be selected. So here we have seen the term recruitment. Now we will see different definitions for recruitment given by authors. According to author Adwin B. Flippo, it is the process of searching for prospective employers and stimulating and encouraging them to apply for jobs in an organization. According to author Del S. Beach, it is the development and maintenance of adequate manpower resources. According to Dalton E. McFarland, recruitment is the process of attracting potential employers to the company. So here from the above definition, we can easily conclude, authors wants to point out that under recruitment of employers, first of all sources of prospective employers are located from where the employees can be made available and an effort is made to approach willingly persons who can join the organization. After seeing author's definition for recruitment, now we will understand what are the stages involved in recruitment process. When we speak of recruitment process, we immediately think of activities such as the analysis of requirements of a specific job, attracting candidates to apply for that job, screening the applicants and selecting among them, hiring the chosen candidates to become new employee of the organization and integrating them into the structure so that they can fill the vacant position and start doing the work within the organization. The process of recruitment undergoes through five interrelated steps in order to find potential candidate. What are those steps? First, creating a recruitment plan. Second, strategy development. Third, talent search. Fourth, screening and shortlisting. Fifth, evaluation and offer of employment. Now let us see all these steps in detail. Step 1. Creating a Recruitment Plan The first step involved in recruitment process is planning. Here planning involves drafting a comprehensive job specification for the vacant position where we outline its major and minor responsibilities skills which that position require, experience and qualification that position needed, all these are noted down. Grade and level of pay given to that employee, uh, when the starting date should be, whether uh, that position is temporary or permanent, all these details are planned and noted down. Step 2. Strategy Development once it is known how many with what qualification of candidates are required, the next step involved in this regard is to devise a suitable strategy 
for recruiting the candidates in the organization. In this step, different issues are considered like uh, whether the hiring should be from uh, within the organization or uh, the hiring should be from outside, what type of recruitment method to be used, what geographical area can be considered for searching the candidates, which source of recruitment to be practiced and what sequences of activities to be followed in recruiting candidates in the organization. Step 3. Talent Search This step involves attracting job seekers to the organization. There are broadly two sources used to attract candidates. What are they? First, internal source and second, external sources. Internal sources include promotions, transfer, former employees, uh, internal advertisement or job posting, employee referrals, previous applicants, etc. Whereas external sources include direct recruitment, employment exchanges, employment agencies, advertisement, professional associations, campus recruitment, word of mouth. Fourth step in recruitment process is screening or shortlisting. Screening starts after completion of the process of sourcing the candidates. Screening is the process of filtering the applications of the candidates for further selection process. Screening is an integral part of recruitment process that helps in removing unqualified or irrelevant candidates which were received through sourcing. The screening process of recruitment consists of three steps. What are they? Reviewing of resumes and CVs. Second, conducting telephonic or video interview. Third, identifying the top candidates. Let us see all these three points in detail. First, reviewing of resume and CVs. Here, reviewing is the first step of screening candidates. In this process, the resume of candidates are reviewed and checked. By reviewing resume and CVs, a recruiter gets information about the candidate's education, their work experiences and overall background matching the requirement of the job. While reviewing the resume, an HR executive must keep the following points in mind to ensure better screening of potential candidates. First, reason for change of job, longevity with each organization, long gaps in employment, job hoping, and lack of career progression. Second step involved in screening and shortlisting is conducting telephonic or video interview. Conducting telephonic or video interview is the second step of screening candidates. In this process, after the resume are screened, the candidates are contacted through phone or video by the hiring manager. The screening process has two outcomes. First, it helps in verifying the candidates whether they are active and available. Second, it also helps in giving a quick insight about the candidate's attitude, ability to answer interview questions and communication skill. And the last step involved in screening or shortlisting is identifying the top candidates. Identifying the top candidates is the final step of screening the resumes or candidates. In this process, the cream or top layer of resumes are shortlisted, which makes it easy for the hiring manager to take a decision. This process has the following three outcomes. First, shortlisting 5 to 10 resumes for review by the hiring manager. Second, providing insights and recommendation to hiring manager. Third, 
It helps the hiring manager to take a decision in hiring the right candidate. And last we have evaluation and offer of employment. Even after selecting the final candidates who might be the right fit for your organization, you can't be sure that they will accept the offer of employment that you make to them. However, before you can make an offer, it is important to evaluate the credibility of your chosen candidates. Before uh, drafting a contract, make sure that candidates' professional references are credible and that the information they have uh, provided in their resume checks out. While drafting a contract and uh, offer letter, it is important to include the details such as work hours, compensation given to them, work conditions, and salary. It shows that the details are clear and specific so that in future, any conflict or any misunderstanding won't arise. So these were the steps involved in recruitment process. So here we have completed today's video. I hope you liked the video. If yes, then don't forget to give a thumb up and subscribe my channel if you want to get notified with my latest update. See you soon with some more interesting topic. Till then, have a nice day. Thank you.